I'd like to get to know you all as an audience, but it's difficult to get to know a lot of people in one go. There's only one of me, that's loads of you. What I've devised is a method. Moral dilemmas. These are questions to which there is no absolute wrong or right answer. Just your opinion tells me something about who you are as individuals and who you are as a group. So if everyone joins in, this works. So everyone say yes. Yes. Everyone say no. No. Everyone say I can think for myself. I can think for myself. <laughs> OK. Right, let's do a warm-up first. This doesn't count towards your final score. Just a warm-up, just to get you into the spirit of things. But if everyone could answer straight away, that would be great. Is it acceptable to kill a whale in order to save two pandas? Yes! <laughs> That's about a 90% yes, I would say, this evening. You've thought, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Someone goes, no! <laughs> no! All right. Don't worry, it's not going to happen. That's not the finale of the show. <laughs> Although I wish I'd thought of that. That'd be fucking brilliant. <laughs> The best response I've had to that recently, I said, is it acceptable to kill a whale in order to save two pandas? And someone went, let them fight it out between themselves. <laughs> now, for better or for worse, this is the question I use to judge an audience, to judge individuals. If you could all answer, that would be great. Would you fuck your dad to save your mum? <laughs> I don't know why you're looking so upset. It's easier for girls. <laughs> He's ugly. <laughs> Imagine that being a factor. <laughs> Imagine thinking, yeah, I would fuck my dad, but he's not a looker. <laughs> he's let himself go maybe five years ago. <laughs> what would you, sir? <laughs> he's there. Oh, hi. <laughs> So, do you mind me asking, is your mum here as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Well, we can actually do a proper test. <laughs> now, I've got snipers all the way around this building. <laughs> and they're pointing a gun at your mother, yeah? We're going to kill her. Your mum's been taken hostage. She's going to be killed. We would like you to bum your dad. Um... Well... <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah, of course it's difficult. I'm not saying you wouldn't be thumbing in a softie. That's fine. <laughs> I say let her die. You say, let her die. <laughs> you, uh, sorry, hang on, you're, you're, we're not in Norfolk. What are you booing? <laughs> you're booing a man saying, I wouldn't bum my dad. <laughs> Just take a moment to think about that. <laughs> All right, so you've made your decision. Don't listen to Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, Mum. It's all right, Mum. Is that, is that your daughter there? Same question to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love my job. <laughs> At what point did you think as a family, this would be a good show to go and see? <laughs> Never mind that Lion King bullshit. <laughs> Let's bring the kids out to see a proper show. <laughs> where we openly discuss incest. <laughs> the best response I've had to that, someone went, not again. <laughs> I said to my girlfriend, I said, on Saturday, how would you like to go shopping with the girls, get yourself some new shoes, get your hair done in a different style, and then go out for a couple of bottles of Chardonnay? She said, that sounds brilliant. I said, good, because we're breaking up. 